Hey everyone, welcome back to RJM Fishtails. Yes, I'm still alive. I'm sweaty and dirty. We have a heat index today of 107 degrees here in South Carolina. Uh, two weekends ago, I went saltwater fishing and caught nothing. And this past weekend, I had to move RJM headquarters to a new house. That kept me busy this past weekend and, you know, I wanted to start setting up my shop and getting things, you know, organized. You know how it is to move. But uh, today I want to do a quick little video of a truck box that I purchased to put on my truck. And I just want to do a quick little review of it. Uh, it's already mounted on the truck. There's plenty of videos out there of the brand that I bought out there on YouTube of how to install it. It's just like any other truck box. It has a little clips that go underneath the bed rail and you just tighten up the bolts inside the box. So I'm not going to do an install video, but I did add a little accessory to it to make it the way I like it. And you guys will see right after this. So in the past, I've had every truck box known to man and I've had them all. Every brand out there from inexpensive to expensive. So I was looking to get another truck box uh, now for the current truck I'm on that I'm driving right now. Uh, we ordered a new truck. That's going to be a whole other video down the line. But I want to get a box now to start utilizing a different setup for kayak fishing. And I wanted to buy a box that I know that's going to be reliable. I can beat it up bang it around and relocate it to the new trucks when it, when it comes in in a couple months. Uh, we plan on probably getting rid of the trailer, so I end up ordering a truck with an eight foot bed. So I wanted to kind of start getting my setup prepared for that and start getting used to doing that. I can't use the kayak in the back of my truck now because I have the short bed F-150 and with the truck box, it just, it, it's doable, but it really sticks out really far. So I didn't really want to do that. So I'm going to use the trailer for now and uh, you know continue using that and then when i get the eight foot bed we're going to sell the trailer and move on because i want to be able to keep it a little bit more simpler and ease of getting into spots maybe some back you know backwoods where it's kind of hard to get a trailer in so i just want to start prepping now and start getting used to using the truck box again i had a tarnal cover on this i got rid of that i sold that so i wanted to get a box that was very durable and the only brand I could think of that's durable is WeatherGuard. And then I thought about it. You know, the price that you pay for those WeatherGuard boxes, they're still aluminum, they still dent, they get, you know, beat up, especially if you get the black powder coat, it ends up chipping off and it ends up fading down the line. So I wanted to get a box that I'm able to transfer from this truck to the next truck. And that box is the deck box. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, they have the drawer system and uh they end up making a crossover box and if you watch the video on this they beat this thing with a hammer they take a crowbar they can't pop this thing open it's very watertight and as you see i did a little a bit of a uh, rjm twist to it and we added the rod rack back on one i used to have this before on another truck box so we ended up putting the rod rack on this and <clears throat> this way we're able to transport our rods and they stay safe instead of keeping them in the kayak because they're kind of getting scratched up being in the kayak i don't like them in my truck and obviously this bed's too small and when i have the kayak in the back of the bed in the future you know on the tailgate down i want to be able to, you know have something to put the rods in so i end up adding a rod rack to it as well so as you can see the box itself has a nice big d handle on it or a nice big handle on it, it has the little d impression and as you see there's no gas struts to get in the way or break and underneath they do a reinforcement metal panel and they you know then they stamp deck into it so let's take a walk up top and do a little quick video on the inside so this package of this crossover box like i said they cut it comes with a, you can get a ladder with this box too if you have a taller truck which even the truck that i'm getting in the future has side steps on it so i don't really need the ladder so i didn't get that option but it folds out you can check out videos online and you can kind of see how that ladder goes. But I just got the box itself with no ladder. It comes with a little tray and it comes with this box. Which is nice about this box is it hangs on these little rings. So it kind of stays elevated. You can keep some stuff underneath it. And, uh, you know, like I have here. And it comes with this box too, which is nice. Inside the box comes with a couple dividers. It has a gasket 
so it's sealed so you can kind of keep stuff in here that you won't want you know you want to definitely keep moisture and everything out of you know nice fishing tackle from rusting or you know cordless tools whatever you want to put in here but it comes with the box and what's nice about it is that it hangs on these you know hangs on these hooks it keeps it elevated you can buy additional hooks and install them over here and hang two boxes if you want that's also another option but i don't want i don't kind of want that but that's just, just letting you know that's another option you guys can do and as far as the fishing rod holder on my previous truck boxes i always had a good backing to them some kind of backer like a plastic backer or like a metal backer to help support this but you can see i mean i'm putting a lot of pressure and it barely moves and all i had to do is some washers on this and i did some stainless hardware so also with this box you can see this look at the size of this lip and they have a nice gasket and this thing closes really nice you just slam it and that's it and it has one key area on the driver's side to open it and you're able to you know unlock it from both sides sorry i'm trying to do this from the outside and it just pops up so i haven't had a chance to really set this box up yet i just kind of wanted to show you and give other people ideas you know in today's market for a decent box right now weather guard you're looking at about twelve hundred dollars this box all in with tax shipped to my house was like eight i think eight twelve or eight fifteen so you know comparable to the boxes on the market and the durability of this you can't go wrong i mean i think this is the best crossover box that's out there so once this box is all set up and organized it's probably going to be more fishing and maybe some work related stuff but probably more fishing and i'll kind of do a little maybe a little video down the line of everything organized with this and my final setup in here but i just kind of want to give you guys an idea you know of a truck box to get right now in today's economy and the durability and i wanted to show you the little idea of the fishing rod holder this is this fishing rod holder is aluminum and it's uh made by fishing mate i'll put the link in the description below but i mean this is my favorite setup and what even works out better is that these deck box comes with these little hooks down here so what i do is when i put the rods in if i'm going really far i have like a little uh, like a little cinch strap like a little almost like a paracord hook it in here i can wrap it over the top of the you know over the top of the reels over the top of the rods and lock it back in on this side and don't worry about you know driving really fast and the wind taking them out or blowing it or whatever and if you uh you know going somewhere to a tournament instead of using a rod tube you can use this and you know not really worry about either you can either take your rods into the hotel or whatever or you can get that they have a little cable tie a uh, little cable lock system that you can run through reels too now you could probably just cut that with a pair of you know diagonal pliers but you know at least it's a some of a deterrent you know definitely take the rods in overnight probably at a hotel but you know if you're stopping a quick little stop having a bite to eat whatever you just run that little cable lock through it and you're good to go you know so i just want to do kind of a quick little video to kind of give you guys maybe an idea like i said i'll put the link in the description below for the fishing uh, fishing mate rod holder it's a great rod holder for the price. It's aluminum. It's been pretty much priced the same way for the past like 10 years. It's only gone up about $10 since I first purchased this uh, like 10 years ago. So, you know, they're holding their prices even with the aluminum prices going up right now. Uh, the deck box, I mean, I've had it now for about, about a week and I've had no complaints with it. I think it's the best box I've ever owned. Uh, and like I said, go on YouTube and watch video of this box and what they put this thing through. They drag it behind a truck. They beat it with a sledgehammer. They can't get into it with a crowbar. Now, you know if somebody went into that, you know, a sledgehammer to your box or into the box with a crowbar, it would be all dented up, chipped up, banged up. And you basically would have a $1,200 expensive box that looks like crap. So just go check out Deck Products today. Uh... You won't be disappointed. Like I said, you set the drawer system in my uh, older truck, which is great. But, you know, with carrying the kayak in the back of the truck, I don't want the elevated, you know, platform, just a higher platform to get the, the kayak into in the future. They do make, uh, I think, Boondocks makes an actual uh, bed extender for that, for the actual deck system. So it comes up higher to support it. But just trying to get the kayak, you know, especially a Hobie PA-14, to get that up on top of the extender, onto the box, you know, the drawer box. It would just be too high too hard to do you know i'm getting older and you know not as strong as i used to be so i just want to keep my bed open you know for the future when that truck comes in when i get my new truck i'll have an eight foot bed this box so basically it'll give me about seven feet you know this is about 18 in 18 inches but you know the longer beds now of the truck i'm getting it's a little bit a couple more inches longer anyway so i almost have seven feet of bed plus the four feet 
with a bed extender. So I'll have 11 feet under that 13 foot kayak. So it's really not gonna stick out far and it's gonna have plenty of support. So that's why I didn't go with the drawer system from deck. That's why I went with the crossover box. You know, I'll be able to keep most of my stuff on the kayak during transport because I can lock the seat down. You know, all my small little things I can stick in my truck box here, my fishing rod holders in the rack, and I'm good to go. Pull right up to anywhere I want. I can go deep into the woods and just throw that kayak off the back of the truck. I'll probably get, some, uh, probably get a set of boondocks landing gear, um, which I used to have in the past. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys a quick little video, let you guys know I'm still alive. I have the sweat stripping off my face. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, like I said, I'll have a video next week of some uh, freshwater kayak fishing, guys. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys in the water. Thanks for watching. See you later.